Go away. Shoo. We have dogs. They're so cute. Yes, piss off, you hairy breathing thing. Anyway, hello America, my name is Matthew B. Moore and I'm here on a mission to keep you from running crap. And today I'm going to talk about a real winner. A movie called Battleship. Chet, Battleship. T shit. Shadow, battleship. Battleship. That one actually was a mistake. Anyway, this movie sucks. I mean, how good could a board game movie be? Well, here's the thing. The writer for this particular movie uh, were, were the Hober brothers, uh, John and Eric, who wrote Red. And so it was like, okay. And then the director is Peter Berg, the guy who did The Kingdom, which is really cool. And, I mean, I know it's Battleship, but when there's nothing else, you know, you've seen everything, and you go to the blockbuster little, you know, little kiosk thing out in front of the drugstore, and you pop out a movie, and there's not dick, and you're just like, okay, Battleship? And we, me and my wife look at each other, and like, okay, let's watch Battleship. So we rent it, and we put it in, and I'll give you the basic synopsis. Earth is looking all over everywhere they can in the galaxy that they can see for another planet that's like ours. And then they find one. So they build this really badass, like, high-powered satellite and send a signal to that planet. But oops, they shouldn't have because that signal invited hostiles to our planet. And they send this sort of attack formation little band of like six ships toward our planet. Maybe it says five. And they come toward our planet and they, they look like something's going to be bad because they're not communicating properly. And goodness, this, this just looks scary. And then their communication ship hits one of our satellites and destroys it. They crash into the or they well, crash into the planet. They go deep into the ocean and sort of... Well, I'll leave the story there because at that point it gets sort of idiotic and sort of difficult to understand. And you're like, how could the people that have made these other good movies do this? I'm sure there's a Hollywood producer you with a pistol to their child's head going, you know, either make it or, you know, for any. Oh no, my baby. Okay, I'll make your horrible piece of shit. Starring actors like Liam Neeson. It's like, Liam, what are you doing? I've seen you in so much poo lately. I mean, you know, are you trying to be Ron Perlman? You're Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson eyes things. Now, you know, like Taylor Kitsch, the, the guy the, uh, that was John Carter, he's okay in it, you know. Um, and then Alexander Skarsgård from, uh, uh, from True Blood, he's entertaining in it. There's a couple of moments in Rihanna, isn't it? She's looking all Rihanna. But, you know, just imagine taking Top Gun and mixing it with Starship Troopers and making it suck. And that's what you have with this movie. Um, I mean, unless you're just bored and you have this. Go Panthers. Um, this movie is not going to entertain you. It's just penis. And, and, and on top of that, the aliens have these weird water sort of bucky little hoodly doodly doo ships. And they're not little, they're huge. But they just look stupid. Here's the thing. You should see quality in your life, right? L let's listen to some quality, just real quick. Now this is quality. I, I can't imagine very many people that wouldn't agree that this is sort of the essence of quality. Now not everything has to be this good. But for crying out loud, give me something I can watch at least. Something a little thicker than, you know, like this piece of paper. Because that movie is just ass. And life is just way too valuable to be wasted farting around on that. Next time you want to watch a piece of crap like that, just throw on some ZZ Top, baby, and just ride. Rock on, America.